Hold on, who's... Fernando, it worked for you! Alright, let's try Fernando. We're gonna get... An, uh, I'm gonna bring you on. We'll get an experience from you, and then we're gonna try to get GameVet on to see if you guys can hear him on the Facebook. Alright, let me see how to... I hit that one. Music. Made hello, hello. <laughs> hey, what's up, Fernando? Not much, not much. So over here, I'm at uh, the east side of the states. So it's eleven fourteen. But um, a few years back, um, when I was in, I think I was in high school, and I was with one of my good friends, and. Uh, uh, just quick thing, you you guys can hear me. Yeah, sounds good. I can hear. You. Can the chat? Perfect. Anybody yeah. in the chat want to let us know? That'd be great. But I can hear you fine. Perfect. Yeah. So um, the weirdest thing happened. Uh, so I went over my friend's house for the summer. I was with him for about like two weeks or such for my summer vacation, and um, you know, uh, at that time, uh, he lived out in Long Island, New York. And um, his parents had a big property, and in their backyard, they had uh, like a, a private trail, you can say, where they can walk. And it went deep in the woods. So uh, one afternoon, his parents were home. They're like, "Hey, why don't we go for a walk in the woods?" You know, like because it was beautiful, and uh, I think it was near fall. No, no, it wasn't fall time. It was summer. My bad. But it was a nice summer night, and um, so we went to the back of the trails and. Uh, we were just walking. I was walking with Cody, who was my friend. And um, one of the weirdest things happened as we were walking behind. We saw what looked to be like a home, like a house. But the interesting thing about this house is it looked kind of like um, the style of it, like colonial, I'd say. Okay. And um, we were kind of, you know, maybe... I didn't know that it was there, you know, but I guess they thought that it was there before, so I didn't say anything. I was just kind of like, oh, look at the house. And they're like, yeah, you know, and they seemed kind of intrigued by it, but then they kept walking. And then a good, like, hour and a half from walking, we turned back, and the sun was setting down in a little bit, so we um, went the same way we walked, the same trail. And I kid you not, the house was gone. Like the whole building was gone. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Cody, Cody's mom, and his dad. We all looked at each other and we're like, "All right, guys, let's just head back home." <laughs> <laughs> we're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> it was uh, like one of those things that it's like I'm getting a little bit of chills just thinking about it. it's like the, the like the Twilight Zone, right. something that you you can't explain but at the same time you weren't by yourself there were there was your best friend and his parents you know yeah witnesses but, yeah i mean yeah yeah no and and to the, till this day i bring it up to my friend cody and and like oh well, yeah dominic uh, the guy in the comments yeah it's i don't know if it was like like i don't know like a, a, a alternate dimension or what but it was clear as day you can see this house and it looked like it was like a colonial house you know like during that era it was insane insane do you remember if like it was it was the house in like good condition or did it look up? Uh... no well it, it, okay so this was the creepy part are you ready <laughs> so what i remember and, and I don't know if this was a thing back then, but there were candles that were lit on the windows. Okay. I don't know if that meant anything, but there were little, like, one single candle though on the per window right. in the house. So we, we thought that someone was living there. But at the same time, we, I don't know, it was just weird. It was just weird. Wow, that's so crazy. Yeah, it's like that was... Slip, you, you see that, you know, you walk by one thing, Coming back to it, it's not there. I've heard so many stories of it. I don't yeah, remember. my guess is that uh, well, there's a whole theory of 
alternate dimensions or things like that or the paranormal that's why sometimes we see ghosts or or, or things move all of a sudden and I, I i don't know you know like i'm not a scientist or but i've had many experiences throughout my life too growing up when i was a little kid i mean i don't know if you have enough time for that but i got many stories of like the the paranormal you know no yeah sure um, you can share one that's fine all right well I'll, I'll share one last one real quick before letting you folks go but uh so when i was growing up I, uh, my family and I, we used to live in Palm Springs, California. We used to live in Cali growing up. And, uh, little did we know, but at that time we didn't, that the area where my parents bought the house that I grew up in, uh, to put in perspective, it was like a ranch house, you know, like the style, uh, just one floor kind of long. And, uh, but that the land that we were on used to be Native American land. And uh, we didn't know. Um, but long story short, I was like, I'm going to say maybe like eight years old or nine years old at the time. And uh, I remember, so my siblings in the bedroom growing up, uh, there was a bunk bed. So my, my sibling slept, you know, on, on the bottom of the bunk bed and I slept on the top. And um, I remember something used to come into the bedroom at a certain time. Um, and it was like late at night, like maybe near midnight. And I remember by the time this entity or whatever it was, the spirit went into the room. Uh, I used to hear almost like, a, uh, what's the sound I can try to think of. Have you ever heard of like the old televisions, the static televisions when they used to turn on? It's like a shh. You know, I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, it was like that type of sound, but then they got louder and louder and louder, and it all got to the point where I had, I guess, I was like paralyzed from the fear, and I couldn't move or speak, and uh, it was just terrifying because I, I I knew that whatever it was was in the bedroom, you know, and my sibling was knocked out and sleeping, of course, but I was there still there, and I'm still alert, like my eyes were open and everything, and and uh, I remember one night down the hallway I, this is what i literally heard you know people say you're a kid and everything but i think uh children uh are more spiritually aware of things i think because there's a lot of kids that see oh i see ghosts or i see spirits it's you know it happens to a lot of children mostly because i think children are pure you know that's my my sense of it what i think but uh but yeah but long story short so one night uh everyone's asleep in my house and I heard something in the hallway and it was like dragging like heavy steps and it was like dragging a chain. So <laughs> you being an eight year old little kid, you're like, holy crap, <laughs> yeah. that is not good. <laughs> uh, so I did what any little kid would do. And I tried to put the cover over my face, you know, and the door in the bedroom opened I kid you not, it opened. And when it opened the room, it got cold. Like it was like really cold. And I was start I started to shiver. And the same thing kind of happened where I became paralyzed with fear, you know, and I couldn't like speak or run or anything. And then I heard the footsteps getting closer to like the the you know, the feet of the the, the bunk bed of where I was at. Um and then it stopped and I was like, oh my gosh, maybe it's gone. But then whatever it was, because I pulled my blankets closer to my face before, my feet were exposed. <laughs> and the, the, the most heart-wrenching, terrifying thing happened. Whatever it was, it grabbed my foot. But oh my I'll tell God. you this, and I'm going to tell you this right now. It was, you know, when you can tell if it's a, a human hand or a different type of hand, you know, like, you know. Right. It was a human hand, but that human hand was like ice. It was like someone dipped their hands in a freezing, like freezing water. It right. was frozen. And as soon as that happened, I like snapped up. It just like my like flight or fight, you know, kicked in. 
I jumped out of bed, jumped out of the bunk bed. I ran out the hallway, ran past the living room, past the kitchen, and then I went to my parents' room and I jumped right in between them. <laughs> and I was just freaking out, just freaking out. And my parents didn't believe me. But that place that we used to live in was haunted because there was times and times where many things happened. Many things, crazy things happened. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was terrifying though. And 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 you know, I believe in the supernatural. It does exist, a uh, paranormal, but uh when it comes to it, like, you know, I, I, I think there's more things that we haven't uh discovered, you know. Oh right. Oh, absolutely. I believe that. That's like the only thing I believe out of everything is that you know, there's something going on. There's a million variations of it, and we just don't know what any of it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, and that was uh, and and a, a little last thing too, which before you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys go so you can have someone else to to that can talk. That same place that I lived, um, I was probably the same age, eight or nine years old. And uh, funny thing, in California, it's mostly sunny, you know. And uh, it was the week of uh, near near Halloween, which in, in uh, Spanish culture, especially Mexican culture, they call it like Semana Santa or, or, or you know, like the Day of the Dead. And um, I remember hearing outside of the house like uh, like people, you know, like walking down the street and like playing instruments and such. And uh, I looked out of my window from the bedroom. And there was like a procession, like a group of, you know, just like people walking down. Well, that's what it looked like. And all these people had their faces painted like with black and white, like the skeletons. Have you ever seen those uh, people like that painted themselves for the, like the holidays? Yeah. The Mexican holidays. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I was all excited. I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool. I want to go outside. And I told my mom, like, I was super excited. I was like, mom, 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 look outside. There's like a, a parade going or happening, you know? And then my mom looks at me a little confused and she looks, she opens the door. And as soon as she opens the door and I go out with her, there's no one in the streets, not one person. But I physically with my eyes saw like, you know, all different types of people walking down the streets with, you know, uh, like instruments, drums and everything. And I was like, what? Oh, now I was perplexed. You know, you being a kid, but I was so confused. It was like, I heard people, like a bunch of people walking and talking and, they're just outside of the house. Now they're gone. It didn't make sense. But uh, you could hear them and stuff like playing instruments and all yeah, that. Yeah, like they're like audible. Like I hear you. You know, like when you hear something or like the sirens go outside your, where you live, like yeah. there's an ambulance or something, something like that. Like I like hear it audibly. Wow. And I got excited. Hey, outside, there's not nobody out there at all. My God. Nobody out there. Yeah. That was actually, it gets me excited that, you know, there's, there's, yeah, actually there's like a life that I can talk to people about this because, uh, throughout my life, I've never really talked about it, you know, to anyone. Uh, but it's just a really cool experience that I can share it with people. And, and, you know, some people can take it like a grain of salt that I might be lying, but there's no reason for me to lie. Like, what's the point? <laughs> Right. No, no. There's so many people having so many different stories. It's like millions of people can't be lying. You know. It's yeah. No. Huh. Yeah. No. And 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 just the coincidence of of certain things that happen, not to one person, but to multiple people too. You know. Right. And the perfect the perfect example too was like that house that disappeared when I was in, in, in the trails with my friend and his family. Yeah. And, and and Cody's dad, which I told you earlier, his name's Cody, my one of my best friends growing up. Cody's dad looked freaked out. He's like, all right, guys, I just go back home. <laughs> you just want I was like, to get out of there, right? <laughs> I was like, yeah, Mr. Morton, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think anyone in the right mind would be a little freaked out, you know? No, absolutely. Yeah, when you're caught in the moment like that or something, you just you don't know what to do. Your mind can't process it as you know as being real. Even you don't know what just went yeah, happened. you know no. And yeah, the, the just the, the crazy part is that we all saw the house, and then when we went back, it was just gone. It vanished into thin air. Was there even was... Like a space there where the house was, or was it just trees yeah. back to normal like mm -hmm. nature? No, so it was weird because it was like it looked like it was like cut out. Yeah. 
it looked like an Emirates would look like there was just a, a space for a house. And but then when we went back, there was nothing. And you know what? I'm just happy that Cody and I and the family did not decide to go inside of that house. Oh, imagine. Because, because <laughs> Imagine you get stuck and go back in time, like if it's a, a dimensional slip, and now you're stuck back in the 1800s. Oh my god, the 1800s! Like, oh man, imagine you have to wash your hands in a, a wash basin. I'd, I'd be like, yeah, I'd be, uh, I'd be like, what? <laughs> Yeah, no, but I'm saying I'm just so happy we did not because there was a point where Cody was like, oh, look at that, you know, and I was kind of getting the sense that he wants to go in, but we're like, let's keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Cody, do not do, let's let's keep walking, man. <laughs> but you know what's funny is that I had like a gut feeling that it just was kind of weird and off, you know, and look at that. When we came back, it was gone. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I, I do appreciate you having me on here. And I'm going to uh, give you a follow as soon as I hop off. Oh, thank but, you. I appreciate uh, it. You're welcome yeah. back anytime. This is a you know safe place, judgment free to share your, your experiences. So you always yeah, have- thank you. And and just to tell you, I just I barely scratched the surface of my stories. That's. It's crazy the things that I see. <laughs> That's what I like to hear because I know we have some good ones to look forward to in the future. Then you know we keep this show going. So. Oh, for sure. Well, awesome. thank you so much. Have a good night, guys, uh, and I'll keep in touch. <laughs> All right, man. And we'll hear some more from you soon. Thank you. All right. Have a good night. Bye. Take a good night. Yep.